Hi guys, welcome back to the McPherson Sisters Real Estate Team video blog. I'm Megan. And I'm Jennifer. And this week we are talking about curb appeal. Yes. Because buyers pull into the driveway, we walk over, we're getting the key out of the lockbox, and the buyers are looking around. And it takes a little bit, right? Right. So you really want to have that curb appeal on point. So what is the number one thing that you want to do? Yeah, clean it, right? Power wash it. Um, they have solutions that you can buy that attach right to your hose. Um, you can borrow your neighbors. Um, you know, if you need any help um, with any questions you may have regarding how to clean your exterior, we're here to help. So yeah. please feel free to reach out. Um, we always like to tell people, you know, to paint their front door, right? It gives it that fresh um, pop of color that helps your property stand out. Another thing I wanted to mention, Meg, was, you know, on, on the MLS, what's the first picture? It's the front of your house. Yeah, so, right. um, you know, we always like to tell people a fresh paint color on that front door makes a big difference. Um, what are our favorite paint colors? We talked a little bit last week about interiors, so now front doors. Yeah, so we have the red clay. That's a light rust color. That is Jennifer's favorite specifically, but that's the top uh, Valspar color for 2020. Yes, it's stunning. And then we really like navy blue. It's a classic. I think if you have a lighter exterior, navy blue looks really pretty. Um, if you have a darker exterior, maybe like a light eucalyptus green. Light eucalyptus green can really go with anything. It's my favorite. So, and it doesn't have to be a specific one. I think mine is called Folly. Yeah, it's a bear color. Yep. But any just really light green, it just kind of goes with anything. So, power wash, paint the front door. What's the third thing? Yeah, plants, right? So, um, we love fresh flowers. It's spring, it's about to be summer. Um, people love, you know, bright spring flowers and it really does. It just adds that additional, um, that additional edge to another listing that maybe is a little bit more blah, doesn't feel as warm and welcoming. Um, it really does. It just makes that patio or front door area, um, it, it makes it just it show pretty. beautifully. Yeah, yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, so flowers are pretty. And you don't have to have a green thumb. You can just buy a pre-potted plant from Home Depot. Wherever. Lowe's, whatever. Yep. yep. And then the last, the finishing touch is a new doormat. Okay, so don't power wash your old one. Go to Target. You can order it on Wayfair or Amazon if you can't leave your house right now. Get a new doormat. People comment on how cute new doormats are all the time. Choose something that kind of goes with the vibe of your home. If you need help shopping or picking anything out, Jennifer and I are always here to help you. Yes. Okay? So now next week, we're go we are going to head to the backyard. <laughs> so this week was all about they pull in, right? That front first impression, curb appeal. They've walked through your home. We've already kind of given you those tips and tricks. And now they're headed to the backyard. Yeah. So what are some fun, inexpensive ways to really, you know, spruce up the backyard space? So make sure that you stay tuned for next week. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We hope you found this information useful and yes. um, yeah, be sure to tune in next week. Yes. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great week.